I'm at the house at 9442 Fairpoint in the New Territories subdivision. I'm going to give you a 360 of the neighborhood here. You can see here we have nice uh, mature trees in the front yard. Lots of natural shade. Also we got some good shade in the backyard. This subdivision is off of 1604 and Boynes Crossing. So you're close to Bandera. Going north you'll be close to UTSA and Six Flags. Going south, you'll be close to 151, Wells Fargo, and a little bit further, uh, Lackland Air Force Base. This house is also just a few blocks away from the elementary school. Let's give you a look inside. This is a four bedroom, two and a half bath, two car garage. Square footage is roughly 2,308 square feet. Bedrooms are all a good size. We're gonna take a look inside. We got uh, brick exterior, three sides brick. Let's give you a, a floor plan layout here. To the right, we're gonna have the formal uh, dining room and living room. Straight back around the corner is gonna be the kitchen and eating area, and straight back to the left is gonna be the family room. All right at the entry, we've got nice tile floors throughout most of the first floor. There is no carpet um, on the first floor other than the, uh, the pieces that are there as floor mats, but it's all tile here, we've got a nice Custom tile work here. We got ceiling fans throughout the house. Here is your living room. Also blinds throughout the house. It's a very good sized space. It's gonna be easy to maintain uh, tile, especially if you're either allergic to carpet or the stuff that gets trapped in carpet. Or if you have pets, this will be very easy to maintain. So you got your living room, dining room combination here. It's a very good space. Then look over here, let's head out this direction. Here we have a coat closet. Pretty standardized coat closet. To the right here is gonna be your half bath. You have your pedestal sink and your commode. Over here we have a large living room. Um, this is to be the family room. The living room is in the front, so this will be your second living room area or the family room. That nice laminate floors. To the right here we have the eat-in area for the kitchen. So you have your formal dining area, and then this is be more of your day-to-day -day eating area. You can put a uh, medium-sized table in here. Got a pretty open kitchen here. Good amount of cabinet space, nice tile floors throughout. And then you have a pass through here to the dining area and living room. You get some very nice uh, newly installed tile backsplash. That looks really nice. We got your stainless uh, dishwasher, your flat top stove. Um, they're including a microwave. So this is a nice, Recent, uh, up, recently updated stove and oven. You got your dual sinks. You got some additional tile work uh, up there on the uh, box window. Uh, one feature I noticed here, which is like a Lazy Susan uh, turnaround, so you can put uh, your, it'd be easier to get access to your smaller items. You can just line them up here and kind of hide them away when you don't need it. So it makes good use of space. You got one here and you got one on this side, the same. Uh, thing so that makes it easy to get to a lot of things that might be stuck in the back All right You get your ice maker connection there for your fridge Let's take a look uh, at the outside here Got a patio space Good size yard, fenced yard. Definitely have lots of room to, for the kids to play. And it's a little bit hard to tell because it's a little bit late in the afternoon, but that tree offers uh, about a third of the yard is got shade because of that tree when the sun was out. So really good space. OK, 
Okay, let's head over here to the, uh, this is gonna be where your washer and dryer hookups are, and then this goes out to the garage. Uh, so here's your washer hookup and your dryer hookup. So out here we're gonna have a two car garage, uh, separate doors, I'm not gonna show it because there's still some items left there that we need to remove, but it's, it's pretty standard uh, two car garage. What I like is it has separate doors, so you don't have to figure out if you're moved too far over or not. If you make it in the door, you're lined up correctly. The carpet here on the stairway going all the way upstairs and all the rooms upstairs has just been installed in early August of 2013. So this is all recently installed, never been lived in since this carpet was installed. Okay, the top of the stairs now. We're gonna start, just give you a layout. To the right is gonna be the hall bath. This will be bedroom number two, bedroom number three, bedroom number four, utility, I mean a uh, towel closet, linen closet, and then the master. So let's start on the right. So here we have nice, again, tile up here. Nice counter space. And you have a tile uh, shower enclosure. Uh, shower and tub combination. That's a really nice uh, design there. Bedroom number two. All these bedrooms are very good size. Uh, a lot bigger than you typically find in the newer construction. Uh, each of these bedrooms is not one of those little, you know, 10 by 9 rooms. Uh, each room is a good size and the other two bedrooms we're going to see after this are even bigger than this one. Um, it's got a decent sized closet here. Okay, let's go to bedroom number three. Now bedroom number three and four are roughly the same size, very good size, about 12 by 12. So fairly large for secondary bedrooms. And they each have, besides ceiling fans, let's go over here. They each have, the, the third and fourth bedrooms each have a walk-in closet. So this is Got a good size here, got some shelving, and you got your own light, so that's that's a good setup there. All right, that would be bedroom number three. And let's head out to bedroom number four. Now I'm just noticing here at this, at the top of this landing here, there is a good amount of space. So I mean, potentially you could put a desk up here or some side of um, area that you can make use of the space because it is wider than just a hallway. Okay, bedroom number four. Again, this is roughly 12 by 12. Very good size. You could fit a, probably even fit a queen bed without any problem and have room for your dresser. Okay, then we over here we have, again, a nice size walk-in closet, which you don't find a lot of times in, uh, unless it's a master's. Okay, and last but not least, Throughout the house we have nine foot ceilings, but in this bedroom, the masters, we have a vaulted ceiling. This is at least 10 feet in the middle. So that is a really nice open feel. Of course, the ceiling fans. This is a very large bedroom. You could easily fit a king size bed, a couple of nightstands, and one or two dresses and still have lots of room to walk around. Let's look over here to the uh, walk-in closet. Now this walk-in closet is also very large. This one is about nine feet by six feet. So you're getting close to the size of some bedrooms. Not quite, but you're like more than halfway there. This is a really good size closet. You got a lot of hanging space. You got shelves that are built in and you have some more space for hanging your longer garments. Okay. This is just a really great size. And again, the carpets, have been newly installed so that's really great and then we have the master's bathroom i like the towel work here every every bathroom is a little bit different a little bit different design here you have the uh the double sinks and then you have like a sitting area here uh so you can put a chair there if you want to get ready in the morning they have a little bit different uh setup here you got um i don't know what kind of you call those like saloon doors 
Uh, but there, everything's nice and neutral in this house. And you got the garden tub, again, a nice custom uh, design shower tile. Shower and uh, tub combination. Let me just open this a little bit. So here's your commode. And then to the back here, we've got a good size linen closet. This is actually quite big. So this is a fantastic house, a great established neighborhood, very close, very convenient uh, commute time to most of the major areas. If you'd like more information about this home or would like to schedule a showing, my name is Mark Fee. My cell number is 210-618-9161. Or you can call the office at Liberty Management at 210-681-8080. And if you're already using a realtor, they can set up a, a showing with the centralized showing service. Very easy to set up. Thank you.